What's going on, everybody? This is actually still being done, a video on New Year's Eve. I picked up uh, a big lot today, I guess would be the way to say it. Very, very fortunate on it. Now, I'm not going to share the whole thing with you because it will take a very, very long time to go through. Some of this stuff you'll see either on my slabs at the shows, um, uh, whatnot, uh, when I start going back on their selling next year. But I wanted to share this piece with you. This by far is the most impeccable silver bars I've ever seen, especially from the first year and some from the second year of impeccable. So the first year impeccable, there were some numbered out of 15, some out of 12. I think it had 10 and 8. I know 8's another number on there. They were not as mass produced as they became later on. So when I saw these, I was like, oh my gosh. And there were stars, Hall of Famers in this. So I'm going to go through and show them to you. I'm going to try to tilt the camera somewhat onto me here. I figured this was a really cool show and tell video piece of it because I don't know if I will ever see this many silver bars again, um, ever. Now, the first four are already sold to the bullpen. So if you want those, you got to talk to Joey. These were all 2016. It's the whole San Francisco 49er basically team set. So you have a first Ronnie Lott. If I can get this to show, it's in these bags for protection. It's out of, uh, this one's out of 12. 12 on the Ronnie Lott. Steve Young out of 12, too. I'll try to see if I can get this to focus. There we go, out of 12. These things here were, are just a scut. Now, you guys will notice, silver tarnishes over time. There's no way I'm eye cleaning these. I am not an expert. I know when they stuck these in here, there's just a little bit of glue holding them back there. So I'm leaving them up. If you guys purchase one of them, that's on you if you want to clean them, what you want to do with them. But just know, no matter what you store them in, silver tarnishes over time. Jerry Rice. This one's out of 15. And lo and behold, the last one, Joe Montana out of 15. Really cool. I'll try to get this up here too. You guys can see here you go. Four out of 15. So again, if you're interested in those, you're going to have to talk to Joey over at the bullpen. Those uh, were already worked into a deal with him. All right. I'm going to try not knocking over anything on my desk. I'm going to put this sharp object here away. All right. So let's start. We'll go uh, right side first. So I didn't have enough new 361 touches. Lucky I had what I did because it's been a while since I've been a breaker. So I had to order some uh, new ones, which will be here, I think they said Wednesday or Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. So in this, two of them out of 12, David Johnson. I believe this is his rookie year on to these two. So two of them, numbers five and eight out of 12. Really cool. We got a lot of these scuffs are on the cases just from over time. Uh, Steve Smith Sr. out of 10. Ryan Tannehill out of eight. So, again, I told you guys, some of these have about eight. Again, these uh, these cases here are scratched up, but you're going to be seeing. Because I didn't have enough to replace them. Paul Warfield out of 15. I believe this is 17. Yeah, 2017. The rest of these have all been 16s. and Because all they had was the NFL Shields that year, too. There's the Warfield out of uh, 2016. Jim Taylor. Packers out of 12. This should be seven. Oh, I can't tell. There's a back or two. I'm pretty sure it's a 17. Good old Andy Dalton out of eight for the Bengals. 16, yep. All these I was able to get into new 361 touches because I still had a stack of them when I was a breaker. So up first, you guys can tell, like, Joe Flacco, when you look at that, it's not real shiny. It's because the tarnish is coming on that. Yeah, if somebody wants to purchase these, just hit me up. I don't know if I'll have them on the website or not, but uh, I want to make sure people understand I am not trying to make that shiny again. But that's out of eight. Flacco. Adrian Peterson. You can see how that's starting to tarnish there. But this older stuff's all going to tarnish. There, there's no way of keeping it good. Uh, Philip Rivers. I'm sure you could probably maybe Q-tip it, but you got to be careful because of the flashing on here. That's the other part. So, so Philip Rivers out of eight as well, too. One of the Charger greats. 
Kurt Warner out of 12. Bob Grease out of 15. This is out of 17. Michael Strahan out of 12. AJ Green out of 12. Okay, one last stack. This is probably the better of the stack that I got left. Yep, Daniel Dippin. Daniel Dippin. All right, guys. Jerry Rice out of 15. This is out of 2017, as you can tell. Look at that bottom where it's starting to tarnish there. But, like I said, I'm not a cleaner, nor am I trying to clean silver on these because I am scared crapless. And I'll move that silver bar. If you guys remember, I think it was like in 19 or 20, a lot of these came apart from being shook around. That's why I don't play with them. Um... Dan Marino, out of 15. This is out of 2016 as well. Brett Favre, out of 12 from 2017. So this is the second year impeccable. Brett Favre, out of 15 from 2016's first year. Aaron Rodgers, out of 2016 as well. Next, Franco Harris out of 10. Not lying, I'm probably keeping this one for myself for a while. And you guys know it's going to be hard to get rid of this one out of my way. Big Ben out of 12. I chased this in 2016. I think I was in like 10 out of the first 12 or 12 out of the first 14, whatever it was, with Platinum. And I had to run into a meeting. And so he loaded more in a store and somebody grabbed him. I guess somebody else pulled the Big Ben but me. I've been chasing this for years. And a couple times these pop up. You remember, there's only 12 of these for 2016. You don't see them pop up often. And normally on buy it now, so if somebody pops up, they want some stupid money. I believe the last Big Ben did like 350 recently. But pretty cool. I'm probably going to keep exits to the Bumblebee uniform. And last up, Paul Horning got a 12. So really cool. Like I said, I wanted to share these with everybody. You guys got to see everything down here onto it. Um, really big um, lot that I picked up today. Lots of stuff in it. Lots of PSA 10s. There's a Shoeless Joe Jackson dual rally card into it. Um, oh, I, I can't even think. There was just so much to, uh, when I started going through and separate. A ton of Tom Brady PSA 10 stuff. If you're into Ronald Jones Jr. for the Bucks running back guy, I got a ton of his stuff. Um, DeAndre Hopkins was another one that's hit me. Uh, a lot of uh, low-popped 2017 Prism Drew Brees stuff. Oof. Baseball, there's a U Darvish Museum Auto in it. There's a... Corey Seager and TRPA. I'll try to show all that stuff in a separate video, but it was just so much overall. Um, like I said, some of it's up all right now onto my slab. So if you guys have the my slabs, kind of just Tom Brady, Drew Brees, and I think a couple basketball I threw on it right now. But by the time you actually see this video, it might be even more up there. I'm not even sure. But yeah, I just wanted to really share this silver piece to you. It's just I've never seen that many of them with one person having. Even like at the national, or not the national, at the um, oh the monster. When I've been there, and a couple of the big shows like down in Atlanta and stuff, I never seen anybody have that many. They might have like six, seven of them, but total, I believe there was like twenty five, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twenty seven, twenty seven silver bars. Craziness. All right, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. I'm out. Catch y'all next one.